So, Madam Speaker, I didn't know these guys that classist, right? Because they said rich is smart. That is why you have money to see the violence put from PPV. Okay. You have a lot of money, and you can normalize the violence, right? But wait, but poor who don't have money, so who only see the public TV? If violence shows the public TV, people cannot differentiate. They become more violent. We just, you know, like yeah. the violence, right? So what they try to say in today's debate, poor is stupid. That is why poor should not see this violent sport in the TV. But wait, the rich can do everything because they have money. But I don't think that is true, right? The poor doesn't mean they're stupid. They are smart, they can differentiate, they can do, you know, like whatever they want because I like the poor and I like the rich too, right? We think that's the basic stance of the team oppositions and I think 80% of in this room should love team oppositions because say we are in the same boat, right? With that, I have a several argument in today's debate. Firstly, I'm going to talk about why their characterization is not right. And someone's second argument helping us, right? Because they need the money, they restrict themselves. This is happening right now. Secondly, I'm going to talk about, I don't want to make this argument, but Logan forced me, I have to talk about multiculturalism because he thinks that that argument is very educational. <laughs> but before moving on that, a couple of, you know, like, response. I think these guys are very soft case, right? Like, like first, in like the speaker clearly said, they said, PPV is okay, but other thing is not okay. I think that's a very, very not great idea, right? And Samuel accused my respected first speaker. He didn't respond <laughs> ethical standard of the Lin's argument. We don't have to, because Yuki said this is not a bad idea. That is why government shouldn't restrict this no violence spot, right? That is why he didn't explicitly rebut your argument, but everybody knows his argument implicitly ended with their <laughs> argument. That is why he is wasting his time by saying that this is stupid. They say this is the problem because, you know, like glorifying the, you know, um, the violence. But we asked the questions, what about Seoul and Kill Bill? And they said it is rated, but this is different because everybody knows, everybody knows there is not a true thingy and there is special, right? But I'm going to prove to you, and they have a two different characterization. Maybe a lot of people is transformed based on their need, right? Let's, let's think about this. People will be more violent and they like, and then they can't differentiate between fictional violence and non-fictional violence. But suddenly, they said, people, uh, okay, they cannot differentiate, right? But suddenly, they said, they can differentiate real violence and fake violence. Yeah, I'm going to prove to you because my paper is moving around. Okay, let's, let, let, let's move on my first characterization. Yes. Look, movies, even in Saw, we go in and we understand that the guy who's cutting people up are bad. But in a sport, the glorification is that this idea of winning and celebrating that person is different. No, some movies celebrating the violence because they want to get something, right? Like Kill Bill. I have a, you know, like other bad guy and I work hard and I have to kill him. There is a, I have a sword, I have a friend, I kill everybody. We think that is exactly the same. Okay, I, I'll get there later, right? Because, okay, I spoke to myself. Let's move on to my first argument. What is the characterization of the current violent you know, sports, right? They said current violent sports is unlimited and unrestricted violence. They hit each other, they kick each other, and do. they have no rules, and they have nothing. We don't think that is true, right? Because my first speaker player said, and they admit this Sorry. fact, right? These violent sports need more audience, right? They need more customers. That is why they forced by the society, they must have a rules, and they must have a left wrist, right? Sorry. Here is better characterizations. They have a rules. They have a left wrist. <laughs> they cannot punch the worst because they want to win the you know, like competitions, right? They have to act based on the rules. They have to act based on the left wrist. They have to act based on the, you know, like every act of the, you know, martial art. And they have to lose their weight. They have to exercise. They have to do their effort. And they can go to that places and they can win. And based on the rules, right? Because they said this is based on the rules. And they should respect the opponent. After the game, if I win, I just act crazy. And every media said he's crazy. Everybody must respect their opponent, right? That is why this is different with any other street fight in the street, right? They have a rules and they're restricted. Why is this happening in the status quo? Because we have a media, right? Media wants to have more customers. They want the woman, they have to have higher teams, they have to have people like, you know, Christine wants to see the UFC, right? That is why they are forced by themselves. They have to restrict the rules and restrict the area. That is why their characterization is 
wrong in today's debate. More than that, a lot of politicians, if they unrestricted hitting each other, they will hate the violent sports, right? That is why they are very, very careful. And if there's unrestricted violence, they will lose their player. That is why they don't want people crazy. They don't want very, very yeah. injured in their games, right? We think this is the right characterization, not the game characterization. That is why Yuki's argument perfectly applied <laughs> into this way, right? We don't have that kind of violence. We have a violent sport where we're showing the respect. We have a violent sport where we have a loose. This is the things people can learn rather than their characterizations. No. Okay, then let's move on to my characterization of individuals, right? They said people will be more violent because they blindly accept the violence, right? But if they see the violence watch. But suddenly they said people can differentiate between real violence and fake violence because I know that violence is fake, right? We think there's a two different types of characterization. If they can differentiate real violence and fake violence, then they can differentiate we don't have to be violent just because I saw the violence spot. So you have to choose what is the better characterization. Then I'm expecting you have that kind of ability, right? So let's move on to my argument why there is a multicultural leader. Like I said before, media profit-seeking entity, there is a concept of PP GUI, right? They need more advertisement. They, they want customers from Brazil, they want customers from Korea, they want customers from Japan. That's why they post you know, different UFC in different countries, right? Then, you know, nice thing comes in uh, our, our argument. They introduce different martial art, like Jiu-Jitsu, right? GSP loves to have karate. Kim dong loves to have a judo. And other people, BK, loves to have wrestling, right? This is the festival of different mixed martial arts. People have a compete with different, you know, culture. We think this is a very, very positive impact. Why? Because if we have the Olympics, judo players only fight against judo players, right? We think this is wrong. If you have a UFC, everyone have a different culture, everyone have a different mixed martial arts. We have an interest to learn about their culture and their, you know, sport and their mixed martial arts, right? That is why more US kids learn karate, more Korean kids wants to learn judges, right? This is the um, Good thing and interesting things about mixed martial arts. Under their policy, there's no those kind of festivals, right? We think I like mixed martial arts because we can learn more culture. It's very educational. <laughs> so we think you know, mixed martial arts and violent videos, violent sports must not be banned into this thing. <laughs>